I want to talk about something actually serious uh, right now today. Uh, if you're on any kind of social media, I am sure you've seen the hashtag Me Too. Me Too. Me Too. Me Too. Me Too. It happened to Me Too. Me Too. It happened to Me Too. And it happened to Me Too. I applaud them all. I think it's brave and I think it's important to speak out and not by shame by anyone. It is not always easy, but we have to do that. And that's why I posted, and I will say it right now out loud, me too. Me too got the conversation started, but now Time's Up is offering solutions to battle sexual harassment. Time's Up. Time's Up. Time's Up. Time's Up. Time's Up is Time's Up to sexual harassment, bullying, abuse, and the lack of representation and equality. When Hollywood talks, America listens. And to local advocates, that's just fine. They say some star-studded attention could give voice to the anonymous. But does it mean that women are empowered enough now to say, not anymore? Film as an industry is dominated by white men. And it's harder for women because men are born and they're bred to have a voice. It's not just the people in Hollywood. It's not just the, the famous movie stars. It's in the smaller local film communities as well. The reason I got into film is because I wanted to be part of something bigger. I really enjoyed being part of projects that everyone got something out of. I just like to make friends, you know, and I think that working on a film set is like a place where you build so many bonds. I enjoy the work that I do now, like being able to advocate and speak on behalf of those who feel like they don't have a voice. I feel like the current state of the filmmaking industry is lacking in female voices. It's not an easy industry to get into in the first place, so then if you think about like being how hard it is for uh, someone to be a woman in the film industry. And then you think of like how hard it is for like a woman of color in the film industry, or like anyone in the LGBTQ plus community. In the film realm, people are talking about it, which is really, really good, and I'm super excited. But I also think that that puts a lot of pressure on our generation to really lead the way and have all the answers and be able to kind of constantly have these conversations about that. Not only have we got to this point where we're finally starting to admit that like, okay, I'm not safe, but we really haven't gotten to a point yet where we have really started turning things around. I was a PA on set of this one short film back in Minnesota. There were three PAs total. It was me and a friend of mine who's female and a man and the man was barely showing up to set. Like he was there, I think, one of the three overnight shoots. And he still was like the star PA. He was the one that the director was always buddying up with and the director was always complimenting, though me and this girl were doing roles on the film that weren't even for us. I suddenly was in charge of a lot more, yet, I wasn't getting the praise that he was getting. Some student made a comment of like, well, there's not that many like women of color in the industry because there's just less women of color in the world. And I like was like, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I wasn't raised up like stereotypically as a girl. So I try not to think about it when I go into things, but then there's moments where it's like painfully brought to your attention. He was trying to split up the class fairly between boys and girls and he went to me, he gave me a number. I had my number in my head. He goes along and he comes back to me and I was like kind of confused. He's like, you already gave me a number. I'm like, I'm three. He's like, oh, you're a girl? And I was like, yeah. And like, like I felt my voice get like high pitched. And then he's like, oh, I'm sorry. Your gender confuses me. And at that point I was like, oh, don't worry about it. It's fine. But also it was like very uncomfortable. And the only way I could play it off was by saying, oh, it's fine, like, you did nothing wrong. It's my fault for wearing a hat and wearing a baggy sweatshirt. My dad's friend works in the film industry, and he said that my chances of getting a job were lower because I have a few extra pounds. I heard it, and I didn't like it. I should be able to get a job no matter my size. I should be able to get a job no matter my gender. I want to say, and I do believe that we are kind of at this turn of event of people realizing how important it is for like women to be able to be really involved 
um, in front of and behind the camera. But then, you know, you always are going to have people who say ridiculous things or people who put you in really awkward scenarios. And it's hard when you're on a film set because you have to be professional. Supporting each other is the, the best way to build a stronger network. There needs to be more female filmmakers, more directors, more producers, more gaffers, more, more grips. Scene 7B, take one, mark. And action. So I want all the girls watching here and now to know that a new day is on the horizon. And when that new day finally dawns, it will be because of a lot of magnificent women, many of whom are right here in this room tonight, and some pretty phenomenal men fighting hard to make sure that they become the leaders who take us to the time when nobody ever has to say, me too, again. Thank you.